Health Today is brought to you by Caribbean Alliance Insurance, agent represented by BGI Insurance Limited. The high quality of medical care we enjoy today is built upon years of effort by doctors, scientists and other medical professionals investigating the causes and the potential treatments for disease. In fact, it's often said that much ill health and millions of deaths annually could be avoided. Insights provided by medical research promise to lessen the impact of today's greatest health problems including diabetes, cancer and heart disease. The Chronic Disease Research Center, set up more than two decades ago, ensures that Barbados and its Caribbean neighbors are at the forefront of this revolution in medical knowledge. If you don't do this research and you don't actually collect, um, uh, for example, there are countries in the region that don't collect um, uh, cause-specific mortality, you won't know what people are dying from. And of course, you know, dying is a zero-sum game. We all die of something, but the question is when do we die and from what? And is it preventable? So if you don't undertake that research, you can't even begin to try and implement any interventions to help um, extend the life and quality of life of the population. It is the starting point. of Professor Clive Landis is a director of the Chronic Disease Research Center, the center which is perhaps better known beyond our shores than it is at home, has conducted a number of landmark studies towards building a healthier Barbados. The most recent achievement, a valuable discovery about the fight against HIV AIDS. Professor Landis uncovered a best practice. Barbados is the second country behind the United States to report HIV suppression at the population level. Simply put, the virus is so low in an infected patient that it can almost appear non-existent. What we discovered was fairly extraordinary. The, um, our ability to suppress the virus in clients who are attending the center is as good as in the U.S. Now, now, this is a totally objective measure. This is not a hand-waving measure. This is a completely objective measure of the number of virus copies in the blood. And the, this is another thing that would probably surprise listeners. We were actually only the second country in the world to report population-level HIV suppression after the US. And as I stated, our level of suppression was the same as in the US. But he says there's an Achilles heel in the system which is being driven by stigma and discrimination. After a patient has been diagnosed with HIV, we have a tendency to lose the person until they come and present very late in their illness, maybe with full-blown AIDS in the hospital close to death's door. Now that is very unnecessary in, in today's day because HIV is very treatable. It is as treatable, and I make no exaggeration, as diabetes. Still, he says it's a discovery which can deliver tremendous benefits. Apart from HIV AIDS, the CRDC has also conducted other notable research, including the Barbados Eye Study with the National Health Institute in the United States. That also proves significant, and in fact, the research is now guiding eye care for African Americans. One of the big findings was that glaucoma is um, much more highly um, prevalent in uh, uh, ethnic black populations, um, whereas macular degeneration is more common in, in whites, for example. Um, and what was interesting, when the known glaucoma genes were actually investigated in the Barbados population, we didn't have any of them. And so the eye studies actually culminated in, in a very major finding, which is that there is a new glaucoma gene discovered in our population, which is uh, present in, in persons of West African origin. Um, and so this is now going through the phases. After you make a genetic discovery, you have to um, go through and narrow down the allele. And then eventually there would be a diagnostic test to see if you have inherited a particular risk gene for glaucoma. The CRDC has also probed the levels of cancer in the Barbados Cancer Society, which focused on prostate and breast cancer in the population. A finding that sort of repeats itself over and over is that um, our black population is, relatively speaking, um, has a lower um, incidence of cancer than the comparable population in the U.S., but our outcomes after a, a cancer is detected are worse. 
In the weeks ahead, the CRDC is hoping to roll out the findings of a study called the Health of the Nation, which took a random sample of the healthy population in Barbados. What is the prevalence of diabetes, both known and unknown, so critically also unknown? And, and, and you know, that, that is the starting point from, uh, from which we can then proceed and say, well, this is a problem, or maybe it isn't a problem. You know, until you actually measure these things, um, it's really just speculation.